was me! Hello, I'm Doc Owen with Action Figure Times. Today we're going to be looking at the Action League from Mattel. We're going to be looking at actually two ways, kind of combining them together. We're actually going to be looking at five packs all in all. And th this is a line that I'm actually very excited about. I love the styling. There's some really cool things. I haven't been able to find it as readily as I would like to, but I I'm still excited about it. So we're going to look at the figures that I do have. First up is going to be Batman and Bronze Tiger. Okay, we're back looking at Batman and the Bronze Tiger. This Batman figure is a figure that we have seen already before. It's already been released. On the back, you can kind of see, uh, you can see the Bronze Tiger there. Kind of a strange bio. It says that he was brainwashed by the League of Assassins. Bra uh, Bronze Tiger attacks Kathy Kane, uh, Batwoman, <laughs> and he didn't count on Batman. Bronze Tiger is... He's actually a pretty cool figure. Maybe this will mean we'll be able to put an Action League version of the Suicide Squad together. That would be kind of neat. Honestly, this Batman figure is, you know, it's good to have. I'll probably give it to my nephew or something. Bronze Tiger is very cool. Got a neat outfit. I actually like him in this version. Um, looks like he's in his martial arts pose, ready to strike. Use some tiger style on them. Got some good paint uh, effects right there on the face. I am going to try to show you these close up, but because of how many we've got to do, we'll be kind of buzzing through them. Next up we're going to look at is, and oh, by the way, you can look at these guys together so that, you know, he's trying to strike and Batman's got his batarang and whoosh, because he's going to take Bronze Tiger out. Anyway, next up you're going to see Sinestro in Ar Arkillo. Arkillo. Um, he does not have a removable tongue, but it does stick out a little bit. Talks a little bit about the Sinestro core, the ever-growing. Now, we have had a Sinestro before, but he was a White Lantern Sinestro. And we'll go ahead and open these up. You can kind of see the back of it there with a little bit of bio before I just rip this puppy apart. Now, Sinestro looks to be like a straight repaint, except that well, I guess even that mask, that mask is painted on on the White Lantern, and so all they did was just not paint it on this with the yellow. He's got the yellow eyes. That's pretty cool, and I'll show you these a little bit more close up. I really kind of like these guys. Um, and again, he's in the exact same pose as the original White Lantern. But I am very glad to get him in his Sinestro Corps uniform. Now, Arkillo, Arklo, Arkillo, however you say it, um, he's huge. Got nice bands there. You can kind of see his tongue sticking out right there. That's kind of cool. He's got a, a little bit of a hip motion. We'll, and when we look at him close up now, here is um, Kilowog. And they look to use the exact same middle portion. The, you can kind of see in the back, you can see the kind of hunch right there. They look to be the exact same there, and then they just put on different arms with huge hands. But uh, this is very cool to get. He is a massive figure. You can see him there in comparison to Sinestro. And so, man, he, he you can see him over Sinestro. So that's really kind of cool. But he and Kilowog would be comparable figures, which I think is actually very, very neat. Now, so... The next one, now we're going to start getting into our Flashpoint series, which is The Flash and Citizen Cold. Now, if you have not read The Flashpoint series and the different miniseries, I strongly recommend it. I actually had a lot of fun with the series. They had a lot of some cool stuff in there, and uh, I, I, really, I really kind of dug it. Now, I am going to be looking at the DC Direct figures coming up. Uh, shortly, we're going to be looking at the all of the Flashpoint figures that they've put out so far, I believe, and, and so that'll be a lot of fun. Now, as you know, in the DC in Flashpoint, Citizen Cold was technically not supposed to be a villain, though in fact he really pretty much was. Instead of being the Captain Cold, he's Citizen Cold, and you know went around and you know tried to portray himself as a hero, and pretty much got burned in the end. <laughs> no pun intended. Got a nice little freeze gun. Quite frankly, whether you want to call him Citizen Cold or not, he he, lo he looks just like Captain Cold. So I don't. If you if you didn't like Flashpoint, you can uh, 
just call him your Captain Cold guy. Now look at, look at this. You can make the gun. You can go gangsta style. You know, what's up, man? Now, the, I actually really like this figure. They, they normally do a good job on Captain Cold figures simply because of the brightness of the colors and things like that. But I actually like him a lot. Now, here this Barry Allen Flash. He's translucent. We've actually seen this figure before. It's the exact same figure that they released before. It's just that they made him clear. Which is kind of cool. I mean, um, do I think he'd be worth buying as a single? No. But, you know, as an extra against Captain Cold, I'm cool with it. Now, ah, let, we'll look at them last. Okay, so next we've got Wonder Woman and Aquaman from the Flashpoint universe. You know, they had, uh, you talk about a tumultuous relationship. Um, you know, Evidently, they dug each other, then they didn't, then, you know, she, you know, kills Mira, <laughs> takes her helmet. If you didn't see, let me make sure you see the back there. Very kind of cool. And it's really, it's pretty much the war between their two kingdoms, as they're, they're battling it out, that kind of tells you the flash, what's going on in the Flashpoint world, and that's what Cyborg is is trying to get all the heroes to stop and things like that and it's really really cool now his he's got his trident right there only exactly not a trident on what did you call that uh, uh let's see what is a five hexagon uh no uh pent uh a pent hydrate yeah it'd be pent uh a pentrant because it's got five so he's got kind of the military style uniform You've got that right there. He, he does have to have a stand to stand up, but he, he's ready to fight. His head turns, but he's actually very, very cool looking. And then you've got Wonder Woman in her uh, Amazonian armor uniform. Very, very cool. Um, I believe the helmet was Mira's. But that's kind of, and that's, you know, I, I, I'm sure he wants to take it off of her head, take it home with him and things. Very, very cool figure. It's been a while since I've read Flashpoint, so if I'm getting some of the details wrong, um, help me out, because everybody needs to know it. There is some detail on the back of Aquaman. He's got uh, the little fins on the back of his uniform. Now, she is actually completely different than the first Wonder Woman that they did. Hey, how you doing? Cute armor. Uh, but it's still, it's a very, very cool look. I, I, and I'm glad that they got it out as quickly as they did, because, you know, we're still kind of dealing with the repercussions of Flashpoint with the whole new 52. Now, finally... We'll look at this last uh, two-pack that we're going to be looking at. And you've got the Batman from the Flashpoint universe. And then they just call him Project Superman. But really, I, I just call him Superman. Uh, and boy, they made him look like a, a, a bizarro Superman. On the back, you can look and kind of see. In the middle of these packaging, you can kind of see the Flashpoint right there. Now... These are very, very cool. You've got Batman kicking. Now you can tell it is the Flashpoint Batman because you can see how he's got the, uh, the red moon right there. He, man, look at that face. He's really putting that kick into it. This is actually a cool looking figure. In the Flashpoint, it, uh, Bruce Wayne is not Batman. It is actually his father, Thomas Wayne, who was grieved over the death of his son, who's also a mogul of sorts, especially of casinos. Uh, if you went to San Diego Comic Con, hopefully you got at least one of the Wayne, uh, Wayne Casino uh, chips that they had. He's got the red bat belt right there. And then Project Superman, he does look a little bit more... You know, uh, they kept him away from the sun, so he's a little bit emaciated and stuff like that. Still had some powers, not near as powerful as he would have been had he grown up in the sun. Uh, his, his rocket actually came down in the middle of the city, and so, uh, you know, he wasn't raised by the Kents, didn't have the same morals and things like that. They did rescue him, uh, Flash, Cyborg, and I think Batman, but it was really kind of cool. One I really wish that I they had put out so far was Cyborg, because they really made Cyborg a cool dude in the Flashpoint universe. He was kind of that universe's Superman. These each stand very, very well. Batman has to have a stand for his kicking. Um, well, I thought he stood well, but he doesn't. You're going to have to twist him around a little bit. I lied to you. He does not stand well at all. Uh, will that do it? Will that do it? He kind of stands. 
Very cool looking guy though. See, so he's kind of got the S in the in there. Let's bring his hand down a little bit. He does look more like a Bizarro, but we'll look at him close up. Well, there you have it. We looked at the DC Action League and featuring some of the new Flashpoint figures. I really think these are cool, very worthy of collecting. I would like to see things like Project Superman. I'd like him to stand better on his own. I actually had to use the stand a couple times for some of the still shots and for some of the video. I hope that they give us a little bit better in character selection, but I do like the fact that like with Sinestro, that is a worthy repaint that we, I, I don't know about you, but I want to have. And that's what we try to do here at AF Times, let you know what's worth your money, let you see it up close and so that you can decide. I hope you enjoy what we do here. If you do, please tell all your friends about us. Once again, this is Doc Owen with Action Figure Times. And make sure you go to the website, AFTimes.com. You can see pictures of all these figures from all different sorts of angles, some great comparison shots with other figures, as well as some fun stuff, too. Once again, be extraordinary, and we'll see you next time on AF Times.